All right, what you gonna do now, friend? Oh, okay, that might work. Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday, and we fought Shoddy before, so, uh... I don't think uh, he's gonna prove much of a problem this time, either. He does get to go first, which is an advantage, but... I don't think it's gonna be, uh... A make or break sort of thing. Okay. So he did close off one side of his Die Master, which is smart. However, will it save him? That's to be seen. Okay. Okay. Oh, I had it right the first time. Ooh, level three. Oh, the Millennium Shield, huh? Well, luckily that's in that position. It's not terribly hard to get around. Also, we have some tank busters who can take it out, you know? Mm, okay. Once we get a summon, that is. He's actually given us quite an easy way to get around this obstacle on the right. On the left, we can't get around the obstacle unless... On his side, anyway. Oh, he wants to connect. Okay. It's going to make things a little more interesting. You... You... Okay. don't have any monsters out yet. Right now it's just the time machine, so we might have to get a little defensive here. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Can we get a... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... So I'm still going to focus on offense for now. However, I'm going to put this Larva Moth right next to this guy. I mean, we can definitely kill him if we just scoot over one. But I don't think we have... Yeah, we don't have any attacks yet, so... Not terribly... Eager to... Move before I have attacks. So we can go you, and you, and actually you. Alrighty. Okay, we have attacks now. So let's get rid of this guy, huh? Get out of here. We've probably seen this matchup before, actually, so... We'll hold off. Where are you putting that? It's building a lot on the left side, but it's not hard for me to block him off there, so... I'm really just going to focus on his right. Or my right? The right side. Uh, okay, I'm at Graveyard. So we can do... What's the most efficient way to do this? Mm, like that, perhaps? Probably. Probably do this. We could even scoot it in if we wanted. Actually, yeah, that'll put him closer to the die master, but it won't block him off as well. This will block him off totally, so let's do this actually. And having Mammoth Graveyard away from the other monsters is probably for the better, considering he's boosting my larva moth. Uh, how many movement do we have? Two? Okay. 
Once we get enough, we can kind of just march right up to the Die Master right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now that we've got the right side blocked off, I can focus on blocking off the left. Uh, you, and you, and actually no, we just want another moth. Actually, I probably put a, should have put Penguin Soldier in there for that third one. Oh well. So this will block it off entirely. Uh, but what about something like this? That would also do it. Uh, that's with that. I think I like this better. Yeah, because then he has to get through the larva moth. For certain. Okay, now he's blocked off on both sides. He still has this little corner to summon in, but we don't really have to worry about it too much. So at this point, I think I'm actually just going to go for level threes. Because that's what's going to get me the most movement. If I throw a Curse of Dragon and then Rabbit Horseman and... Uh, probably Rogue Doll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, we got a little bit of movement there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, claw. Okay, we have... All the attacks we'll need, and we have all the movement, so let's just go. I don't think he has any way to get anyone to me in time. So I think we've got this in the bag. Well, that might work. Um, 2030 though. If we have guards, then we don't need to worry. Uh, and we do have guards, so... Yeah. Just block. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can keep rolling these because I don't really need summons at the moment. But I get one anyway, which is neat. Uh, so Rapid Horseman, we're going to summon you. We're going to put you yeah, probably in this corner here. That'll do. A little bit closer, perhaps. And that's a big threat in case somehow Larva Moth dies here. But I kind of doubt it. Okay. Yeah, nope, not gonna work. Oh, we get the cutscene this time. Let's see. How do you attack? Oh, Vortex. I see. Okay. Alright. And... Last turn. What happens if you just don't have anything in there? Okay, it doesn't set anything. Got it. Uh, so then let's go you, and you, and you, and... Doesn't really matter, but we'll save some time if we don't actually summon, so... All right, here we go. Bootyful. Miyu Kishin. Which, I don't remember if it was any good. Uh, hey, we got 700. That's pretty good. Let's go to the shop, eh? See what else might be being sold here now. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I want to keep at least one of each if I can. Oh, yeah, no, not very good. Got it. Two of those. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> That's barely any. Okay, it's fine though. Um, so what about... Oh man, it's got a lot now. Uh, 
really starting to fill out. I wonder if after the next tournament he'll just have all of them. Friends all flying? I don't think that's worth the price. Um, battle Ox. Snake Air? Maybe not. Uh, Dragon Piper, that's new. Limits Dragons. This could be good, like, specifically against someone like Kaiba or Rex. However, uh, I don't think I need it. Faceless Mage doesn't have an effect. Decent stats, so maybe? Um, Jellyfish is another maybe, because that also powers up beasts. If it's got good crest, then I might add it. Thousand Dragon's pretty strong, but it's level 2. Uh, Cocoon of Evolution does basically nothing. It is also level 2. Oh, was Petite Dragon here before? That's pretty cool. Um, what else we got? Oh, Parrot Dragon as well. Uh, Reunication Powered. Level 2, 30, 20. That's pretty good for a level 2, but again, it's level 2. <laughs> We don't use those. Pendulum Machine? It's 20, 30, level 3. That could also be good. Uh, slot Machine, maybe. Do you have an effect? No? Okay. Lord of D protects dragons and is really expensive. Okay, so I think there's a few here we might check out, like Slot Machine, Pendulum Machine, and who's the other one? Uh, Faceless Mage. I just want to kind of see what their crests are, so I'll we'll buy them. Alright, check out the dice pool. Uh, we got some new level 3s to check out. That's pretty good. Like, two movement, one attack, Ugh, one defense. I think I might have to take that. Um, and who else we got? Pendulum Machine. No, those are pretty bad crests, actually. I'd definitely rather have Faceless Mage. Uh, when did we get you? I don't know, but... Your crests are bad. Uh, your crests are okay. Probably not enough to make up for the fact you're only 20-20. So... Yeah, Faceless Mage is actually pretty good crests and not bad stats either. So... Uh, I think I'll drop a Curse of Dragon for Faceless Mage. And maybe the other one too, if I can... Uh, actually afford another one. I could probably sell a Curse of Dragon, but then I wouldn't have one in inventory. How much do I have? 313. How much was Faceless Mage? 250. Okay, yep. I'm grabbing another one. And probably selling a Curse of Dragon. So... Uh, you. Ain't worth much, but might as well. Yeah, because Faceless Mage has better stats than Curse of Dragon. So, better stats and actually even slightly better crests. And it's not flying, so if I do end up summoning it, I can actually move it without having to use double the movement. So this is pretty good. This is our best source of movement. Because even Penguin Soldier is slightly worse. Cool. All right, well... Maybe we'll get to test out the Faceless Mages next time. But, as for this episode, that's a wrap!